All right, my friends. Let's go ahead and start in a standing forward fold so we can lengthen those hamstrings. Sound good? <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and just slowly so we can drape ourselves down, holding down one vertebrae at a time. Maybe even stepping your feet about inner hip distance apart. Okay. Go ahead and let your, ha your hands hang heavy down towards the mat. Let your head hang heavy down towards the mat. And feel free to keep your hands on the floor or go ahead and grab opposite elbows. And let your head rest in between that little cradle that you created with your arms. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Breathe into the sides of your lungs here. As you exhale, I want you to scoop off that low belly and just get a little bit deeper into that fold. Nice, slow, concise inhales. Bridging into the top and sides of your lungs. As you exhale, again, scooping off that low belly. You can get a little bit deeper in this fold, get a little bit more length in the back of your legs. Maybe even put a gentle micro bend into those knees. If your eyes are not already closed, go ahead and close them now. Making sure that the skin around your eyes is nice and soft. Maybe even unclench your jaw. Begin to quiet your mind. I know there's been a lot of things on the news that are very disheartening, very frustrating, and it makes you just want to scream from the top of your lungs because of how people react in this in today's society. And I just want you guys to know that regardless of what the outcome of the situation is, I feel that eventually things are going to be okay. All right? We just take it one breath at a time. Let your voices be heard. Let your breath be heard. Focus on your breath, focus on strengthening and lengthening your body today. Focus on ridding yourself of any frustration, any tightness, any anxiety that you're holding within your body. Let's try to rid ourselves of this today. Taking another deep inhale through our nose. As you exhale, I want you to sigh out your mouth and give it back to Mother Nature. Let her absorb that energy, reconstitute it, reconstitute it into new positive energy, positive affirmations that are coming towards you, your friends, your family, putting positive vibrations out there into the world. Hoping that one day we can all coexist as one. If you still have that, those elbows connected, you want to go ahead and release your hands down to the mat. Go ahead and come halfway up, lengthen that spine, look out in front of you towards the horizon. As you exhale, I want you to plant that left hand down right in front of your gaze, bend into that left knee and inhale that right arm to the sky, really peel open that chest, open up that heart, lengthen through those fingertips. Press away from the mat through your left hand. Get a little bit higher if you can. Maybe you intent your fingertips. And get a little bit more length. Just a little bit deeper. And take one more breath in. As you exhale, go ahead and bring that right hand down in front of your gaze. Bend the right knee and then inhale the left arm up to the sky. Feel the twist in the spine. Lengthen through those fingertips. Open up that heart, expose that chest towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath in and reach up a little bit higher. Let 
Nice, deep inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna bring that left hand down and switch sides. All right, inhale, right arm goes up. Really peel that shoulder back and open up that chest. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, that left arm into the sky. Really open up, lengthen wherever you can. Exhale, bring it back down. One more time here. Inhale, that right arm up to the sky. And feel the twist in your spine. Feel the stretch in your body. Exhale, down with that right hand. Inhale, the left arm up. Really exaggerate that twist. Lengthen through the fingertips. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen that spine. Okay, and step your feet, mattress and apart, splay those toes out. As you exhale, bend into those knees. I'm into Malasana. And start to open up those hips. Try not to like hinge too far forward. Okay, I want you to lean back, put a little bit more weight back into your heels just so you can grow tall to the crown of your head and lengthen your spine. But just also make sure that you put the weight into all four corners of your feet. Okay, don't just Put the weight into the back of your heels. Okay. And put the weight into the back of your heels just to grow tall and lengthen. That's fine. All right, but you also want to make sure that you don't walk too far back and you fall, you fall backwards. Gently push those elbows into those knees. Nice deep breath in through your nose, lengthen through the crown of your head. As you exhale, I want you to release your hip flexors, okay? Just try to try to disengage them. Okay? Just close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Focus on releasing the tightness. A little discomfort is okay. Remind us that we're alive. Nice deep breath into our hip flexors. Slow, methodical, exhale, say no. One more breath in here. As you exhale, bring those hands down to the mat. You parallel your feet, straighten those legs and fold forward. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands at your hips. Inhale all the way up. Nice tall spine. Step those feet together. Okay, let's do a few signs. Salutation. Just inhale those arms up to the sky. Reach through those fingertips, okay? Go ahead and take it over to the right side. Bend it. Take out that left hip. Inhale to center. All right, go ahead and take it over to the left. Inhale to center. Lean back and open your heart. Let your head drop back. Exhale, fold forward. As you inhale, you lift and lengthen. As you exhale, plant those hands, step back, top of your plank. Lower down slowly. Rise up, just come into cobra, okay? Exhale, child's pose. Forehead, roots down onto your mat. Bring that right hand to your right ankle. Inhale, left arm up over your head. Push that pelvis forward, swinging camel. Exhale, bring it back down. Connect that left hand to your left ankle. Forehead hits the mat. Inhale, right arm goes up over your head. Push that pelvis forward. Lean back and let your head drop between your shoulders. Then exhale, come back down. Connect that forehead to your mat. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Slowly begin to slither yourself forward, coming into that cobra pose one more time. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips into the air, downward facing dog. And walk the dog, pedal those heels. And maybe even you know, move side to side, a little bit of movement in those hips. And then when you're ready, I want you to root down through the soles of your feet. Nice deep breath in through your nose to hike up those hips and lengthen through that spine. Exhale, scoop off that low belly and send your chest towards your thighs. Gaze goes in between your legs or maybe tucking that chin to your chest a little bit more. Toes are slightly turned inward, rotating those thigh bones. 
helping to open up those hip flexors. Continue to lengthen through your spine as you breathe in. Creating that space in between each one of your vertebrae, pressing yourself away from your mat. As you exhale, you're scooping out that low belly, pulling that button towards your spine, heading that weight back towards your heels. Try lifting all 10 toes. It'll help to bring the weight back towards your heels. One more slow deep breath in here. As you inhale, rise onto your toes, send that gaze in between your hips. Exhale, step your feet to the front of your mat. Come halfway up, then pull forward again. Rise up, bring those arms over your head, extend through those fingertips. As you exhale, take it over to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale to center, lean back, open up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to lengthen. As you exhale, plant those hands, step back, lower down. Feel that chest up, open your heart. Play those knees, exhale, child's pose. Grab that right ankle, inhale to bring that left arm over your head, pressing that pelvis forward. Exhale, left arm comes back down, connected to your ankle. Inhale, bring that right arm up over your head, press through. Exhale, come back down. Arms go in front of you, and you come back into that cobra pose as you peel your chest up, and then gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck your toes downward facing dog. Nice deep breath in here. Expansive inhales, okay? Breathe in through your nose into all areas of your lungs. Slowly release that breath with every exhale that you do. Remember with every inhale, we're nourishing our body, our mind, our soul, we're reoxygenating our blood, we're, we're helping to keep our internal organs nice and healthy. With every exhale, we're creating new space for ourselves, creating more room for positive energy, love, and light. Ridding ourselves of the self-doubt, of the negativity, of the frustration of being cooped up in our houses for so long and being all the awful things on TV right now. Sending good vibes into the universe and knowing that our voices will eventually make a change and create a more peaceful and unified world. One more breath in here. Expand those lungs. Exhale, rid yourself of that negativity. Then inhale onto those toes, looking between those hands. Exhale, make your way to the front of your mat. Come halfway up and lengthen that spine. Exhale, fold forward one more time. Then rise up again, arms come over your head, reaching through your fingertips. They take it over to the right, side bend. Inhale, back to center. Let's go ahead and side bend to the left. Nice deep breath in through your nose, let your head drop in between your shoulders as you lean back. Then exhale, hinge forward, swan dive down. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, plant those hands, step back, lower down. Rise up, gaze close towards the sky. Exhale, child's pose. Right hand connects to your heel. Inhale that left arm over your head, open up that front body. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, that right arm goes over your head this time. Really open up, push that pelvis forward. Exhale, come back down. Bring your hands in front, start to slither into that cobra pose. And then tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Five deep inhales here. Remember your cues, turn those toes inward. Lengthen through your spine, hike up those hips. 
Send that weight back towards your heel. Scoop out the low belly. Start to deepen your breath here. Engage that Ujjayi breath if you have not already. next inhale rise onto your toe as you exhale make your way to the front of your mat lift and lengthen then melt and root down inhale bring those arms over your head reach through those fingertips exhale bend into those knees deep inhale to reach through those fingertips cut that pelvis under and gauge your core as you exhale we're going to open up to the right arms to a key Inhale, back to center, lengthen through your fingertips. Exhale, open to the left. Inhale, to center. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Hook that left elbow outside the right knee. Twist open, okay? Keep that gaze, though, down at your, at your feet, all right? Go ahead and step your left foot back behind you. Stand the ball of your back foot. Then into that right knee, coming to prayer, twist, lunge, okay? I want you to go ahead and push into those palms of your hands, okay? Let your fingertips point towards your heart, okay? Your shoulder blade should be pulling back towards the center of your spine. And one more breath in here. As you exhale, send that gaze back down towards your feet. Step that left foot forward. Come back to center. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, bring those hands back to chair, hook that right elbow outside the left knee, twist open. Then send that gaze down towards your feet. Step the right foot back behind you, come into that prayer twist lunge. Okay? Really push into those palms. Pull that scapula, that shoulder blade back towards your center of your spine. Okay? okay. Lengthen through your right heel. Okay? Push into the ball of your back foot. Then the gaze down towards your toes. Okay. As you inhale, step your right foot forward. And okay. exhale, come back to the center. Inhale to chair. Exhale, straighten those legs. Hinge forward. Inhale, half to that length from that spine. Exhale, plant those hands. Step back, lower down. Inhale, rise up, open the chest. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. From here, totally different today. Step your right foot to the front of your mat. Push off your back heel, come into airplane pose. Hands at heart center. And extend through that back heel. Put that footprint on the back wall. One more breath in here. Exhale, bring those hands down, bend into that right knee to step the left foot back. Then come to the top of your plank, lower down. Inhale to open up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot to the front of your mat. Push off your right foot, take flight, airplane pose. Okay, push through that right heel. Keep that chest up and open. Core is engaged. One more deep breath in here. Down, bend the knee to step back, and then lower down. Open up, send the gaze towards the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's only stay here for three breaths, okay? Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, root down and strengthen. On your next inhale, come on to those toes. As you exhale, step to the front of your mat. Then come halfway up. Then fold down. Bend those knees. Raise those arms up over your head. Reach through those fingertips. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, open to the left. Inhale to center. 
Exhale, hands come to prayer. Twist to the right and hook that elbow. Deep breath in. Look over your right shoulder as you inhale. Exhale, look down towards your feet. Step your left foot back. Okay, then twist a little bit more into this lunge. Look past your right shoulder if you can, or out in front of you towards the right. Take a deep breath in here. Full, complete exhale. All right, look down towards your foot. Step your left foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, back to center, chair pose. And exhale, bring your hands back to prayer. Hook that right elbow this time, twist open. Deep breath in as you look past your left shoulder. Exhale, look down to your feet. Step the right foot back. Twist a little bit more, just getting a nice deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath in. Exhale, look down towards your feet. Inhale to step that right foot forward. Okay. Exhale to center, inhale to chair. Stand up this time, lean back, open up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, plant those hands, step back. Move through your vinyasa. Meet me in your downward facing dog. And then from here, step that right foot to the front of your mat. Push off the back foot. Come into airplane pose. Extend through that back heel. One more breath in. Exhale. Plant those hands. Step back. Maybe even do a one-legged chaturanga this time. Then inhale, open up. Exhale, root down. And step that left foot to the front of your mat. Take flight as you inhale, hands come to heart center. And then deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, plant those hands. Step back, lower down. Maybe that's that one-legged chaturanga again. And inhale to open up. Exhale, tuck the toes. Now we're facing dog. Deep breath in through your nose. Full, complete exhale out. Two more nice deep breaths, just like that. Hike those hips a little bit higher into the sky. Lengthen through your vertebrae. Inhale, rise onto your toes, send that gaze forward. Exhale, make your way to the front. Come halfway up. Hold as you exhale. Bend those knees, bring those arms up over your head, your two those fingertips. One more time through. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, open to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, hand at your heart. Twist open to the right. Deep breath in. Look up towards the sky. Exhale, send your gaze down towards your feet. Step your left foot back. Inhale to twist open a little bit more. Get that torso off of your thigh. All right. Exhale, look back down. Step your foot forward. Okay. Inhale to chair. Exhale to prayer. Hook that elbow. Twist open to the left this time. Gaze goes up over your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, look down towards your feet. Step your right foot back. Then twist a little bit more <clears throat> as you take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, look down at your feet. Okay, step that right foot forward. Inhale to chair. Stand up, lean back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant those hands. Step or jump back. Move through your vinyasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Step the right foot through to the front of your mat. Take flight immediately. Airplane pose. One more breath in. Exhale, plant those hands. Step that left foot back. Lower down one leg and chair. Inhale, that gaze up from the sky to open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just step that left foot to the front of your mat, pushing off the back heel, taking flight. 
Keep that core nice and tight. It'll keep you steadier. One more deep breath in. Bend through that back heel. Exhale, hands come down. Right foot comes down. Step back, lower down. Open up as you inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose. Completely up to you. Three deep Ujjayi breaths here. Feel yourself beginning to warm up from here. All right, inhale, rise onto those toes. Exhale, step your feet to the front of your mat. Come halfway up, lift and lengthen. Fold and melt down as you exhale. Bend those knees, raise those arms over your head, extend through those fingertips. Come on to those toes, lift those heels high off of the mat. Reach a little bit higher through your fingertips. Let's get the pelvis under, get a little bit taller onto those toes. Come on, let's finish strong here, five more breaths. One more, you can do this, expand those lungs. Reach through those fingertips. Get a little bit higher on those toes. Exhale, sink a little bit lower into your chair. Send that seat back behind you. Another deep breath in. Last breath. Let's do this. Reach through those fingertips. Bring those heels down. Straighten those legs. Fold forward on your exhale. Inhale, halfway up. Roll down in front of you. Step those feet, mat distance apart, splay those toes to the sides. Exhale, come into Malasana. How's everybody doing? <laughs> All right. Remember, push into the palms of your hands, push them together. And okay, send those elbows into your knees. Okay. Deep breath in through your nose, lift and lengthen, create that space in between each one of your vertebrae. Awesome, one more breath in. Good job, plant those hands, straighten those legs, fold forward. Okay. Inhale, slowly come all the way up to a nice, tall spine. Roll those shoulders back. Step those feet together. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, side out your mouth. Go ahead and come into the nice, tall mountain pose. Feel free to take some, or take a break, drink some water. All right. What are we going to do now? Oh my goodness, I have no idea. All right, next tall mountain pose to the front of your mat. Remember, we are engaging two of our bandhas right now. Okay, we have our mula bandha, which is a pelvic floor tilt. So I want you to tuck that pelvis under. Okay, so you tuck that pelvis under. You're going to engage that core. Okay, you have that Udiyana Bandha, all right? Those two energy locks right here. Try to keep those two energy locks engaged throughout your practice, okay? Especially the Udiyana Bandha. You'll notice a complete difference in your practice if you use your core to help you, you know, to, to move through your poses, okay? Especially when you go into downward facing dog, when you use your core to help hike your hips up into the air, okay? It'll naturally bring those hips higher. You'll naturally be able to send that weight back towards your hips a little bit easier, okay? Without, it's just going to be more natural that way, all right? All while still focusing on your Ujjayi breath and your lengthening of your spine and your rooting down to the soles of your feet. A lot to think about in yoga. When we first go to quiet our mind. <laughs> so, growing tall through the crown of our head, lengthening. Our spine, we're going to take a nice deep breath in through our nose. 
As you exhale, we're trying to send those fingertips down towards the sides of our feet. So growing or creating some length in our arms, pulling those shoulders back, opening up that chest, okay? That pelvic floor is tilted under. Okay, Uyana Bandha is engaged. Your neck is in line with your spine. You have a gentle tucking of your chin. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Expand those lungs. Open that heart. As you exhale, pull that belly button close to your spine. Very slow exhale. Closing your eyes here for one more breath. We're going to bring those arms up over our head, reach through those fingertips. As you exhale, hinge forward, swan dive down. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to the top of your plank, lower down your chaturanga. Inhale to the top of your plank again. Bring the weight over to the right side of your body, come into side plank on your right. So inhale that left arm up to the sky, any version you choose. Just peel that shoulder back, open up that chest, okay, and push away from the mat with your right hand. One more breath in here. Exhale, bring that left hand down, step the left foot back, downward facing dog, okay. Inhale, right leg goes into the sky. Exhale, bring that knee to your nose. Engage that core, try to make that connection with your nose. Inhale, back into three-legged dog. As you exhale, step that right foot to the front of your mat. We're doing some balancing here today, okay? So we're going to push up our back foot. Keep that right hand planted down. Stack your hips, okay? Inhale, that left arm to the sky. Half moon. Okay? Keep your gaze down towards your right hand if you're having trouble balancing. I know it's early in the flow, but I want you guys to start to open up those hips, I want you to focus on your balancing because a lot of times we don't focus on balancing. Okay? One more breath in here. All right, as you exhale, bring that left hand down onto your mat. Square your hips off to the short end of your mat, then inhale that right arm up to the sky. We're in reverse half moon here, okay? You're still flexing your foot, putting a foot around the back wall. You're peeling that right arm up towards the sky. Your gaze is either out towards your right or over your right shoulder. Okay. Deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, I want you to bend that right knee, step that left foot back. Okay? Come open up. Arms are to a T to the right. Okay, so you're in a lunge. And your right arm is behind you, your left arm is in front. Gentle twist of the spine here. Deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, bring that right hand behind you, left arm over your head. Lean back, feel the curve in your spine. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, bring your hands down to the front of your mat. Step back. Lower down. Uh, inhale, feel that chest up, open the heart. We are going to get rid of this afterwards, I forgot. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay. Inhale to the top of your plank. Exhale, lower down to chaturanga. Inhale to the top again. Exhale, bring your weight over to the left side of your body. Side plank on this side. Inhale that right arm to the sky. Try to get that left hip away from your mat. One more breath in here. As you exhale, right hand comes down. Come into downward facing dog. Bring the left leg into the sky. Exhale, knee to your nose. Use the core to bring that knee to your nose. Inhale, back up the three like a dog. Exhale, step that foot to the front of your mat. Plant your left hand down. Push off your back heel. Stack those hips. Half moon on this side. Peel that right arm up towards the sky. Should be nice deep breath in through your nose. Okay. Lift that back foot. Lengthen through those fingertips. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, that right hand comes down. You square your hips off to the short end of your mat. And inhale, that left arm up to the sky this time. 
believe there is half moon. Really lengthen through your left hand. Extend through your right heel. Deep breath in. As you exhale, bend that left knee, set the right foot back. Open to the left, arms to a T. Okay. Good job. Nice deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, bring that left arm behind you. Then inhale your right arm over your head. Really feel the curvature in your lower back. Okay. Awesome. One more breath in here. Push through your back heel. Exhale, bring those hands down to the mat. Step your left foot back. Okay, one yoga push-up. Go lower down. Come back up. Side plank on the right. Okay, inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, bring it down. All right, you know what? Lower down to chaturanga. Inhale to your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg goes into the sky. Deep breath in. Remember, use your core to bring that knee towards your nose. Inhale to feel like a dog. Exhale, step that foot to the front of your mat. Push off your back foot. Right hand plants down. Inhale to half moon. Good job. One more breath in. Exhale, left hand plant, square off those hips. Inhale, right arm into the sky to reverse that half moon. One more breath in here. Exhale, bring that left foot down, bend that right knee, open to the right. Okay, arms are to a T. Push through that back heel. Keep that left leg straight. Deep inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes behind you, left arm goes over your head. Crescent, twist, lunge. Let's add on from here. Right? Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, tap your knee down once. Inhale to start. All right, exhale to the back of your mat. Hook and twist, okay, prayer twist. So right hand or right elbow hooks up at the left knee. Twist to the left, okay. Deep breath in. As you exhale, send that gaze down towards your left foot. Okay. This is going to be tricky. Inhale, push off of your back foot and try to balance on your left leg. Flex through that right heel. It'll help to keep you steadier. And keep that gaze down towards your foot or towards your mat. Okay. One more breath in. As you exhale, bring that right foot back down, come back into that lunge and that twist. All right? Then pivot your back heel down, windmill the right arm up to the sky, exhale into your warrior two. Pull that right hip back behind you. Wear those hips off to the short end of your mat or the long end of your mat. Deep breath in through your nose. Full, complete exhale. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Exhale, hinge forward at your waist. Bring that left hand down. Feel that right arm up to the sky for triangle pose. One more breath in. As you exhale, bring that right hand down towards your mat. Put it off your back heel. Bend into the left knee. Bring your arms out in front of you for a flaming bolt pose. Okay. Good job. One more breath in here. As you exhale, swing those arms back behind you. Peel that chest up. Look up towards the sky. All right. Exhale. Look out in front of you. All right. Bring your hands to heart center. Push off your back foot. Come into airplane pose. One full breath here. Awesome. As you exhale, plant those hands down. Step or bring the right leg into the sky for standing splits. Good job. One more inhale. 
As you exhale, step that right foot back, then the left foot, and top of your plank. We're at the back of the mat, so we're going to the left side. Lower down your chaturanga. Inhale to the top of your plank. Exhale. Side plank on your left. Feel that right arm up to the sky. Deep breath in through your nose. Awesome. Exhale, bring that right hand back down. Lower down to chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg into the sky. Use your core, bring that knee towards your nose. Inhale, back up. Exhale, swing it through to the front of your mat, or the back of your mat. Plant that left hand down. Open up to half lean on your right. Feel that right arm up towards the sky, stack those hips. Right. Deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, switch to side. So plant that right hand down, square those hips off to the short end of your mat. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Reverse, half moon. One more breath in here. As you exhale, bend that left knee, step the right foot back. Open your arms to a T to the left. Okay? Feel that twist in your spine. Deep breath in here, reach through both sides of your fingertips. Exhale, left hand goes behind you, right arm goes over your head. Lean back. One more breath in here, push through that right heel. Exhale, tap your knee down once. Inhale to start, then make your way to the front of the mat for that prayer twist. Hook that elbow outside your right knee, hands come together, twist open, deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, look down towards your right foot. Push off your back foot. Balance on that right leg. Gaze goes down towards your mat. Just one more breath in here. Exhale, step that left foot back. Okay, bring it down to the mat. All right, turn that back heel down. Window the left arm up to the sky. Exhale to warrior two. Okay, so pull that left hip behind you. Square those hips off to the long edge of your mat. Soften your shoulders, lengthen through those fingertips. Deep breath in through your nose. Full, complete exhale. Inhale to straighten that right leg. Exhale, hinge forward. Bring that right hand down wherever you feel comfortable. Inhale, peel that left arm to the sky for your triangle pose. Okay. Pull that left hip behind you, send the right hip forward. Reach through those fingertips. One more deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, bring that left hand down. Pivot off the back heel. Bend into your right knee. Bring those arms over your head for lightning bolt pose. Bring the extend through that left heel, okay? Push into the ball of your left foot. Reach through your fingertips. Nice, long line of energy. One more breath in here. As you exhale, swing those arms back behind you. Peel that chest up, look toward the sky. One more breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. And then push off your back foot. Inhale and take flight. One full inhale here. Exhale, plant those hands. Bring that left leg into the sky, standing splits. One more inhale here. Exhale, step that left foot back, bend the right. We're gonna do it one more time on each side, each side, okay? So lower down the chaturanga. Inhale to your plank. Okay, come on to your right side. Side plank on your right. Inhale that left arm to the sky. Exhale, bring that left hand down. Lower down to chaturanga again. Inhale to your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale that right leg into the sky. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, back up if you're like a dog. Exhale, step up through to the front of your mat. Okay, plant that right hand down. Inhale, the left arm up to the sky, stack those hips, half moon pose. Stay here for one more inhale. 
Exhale, left hand comes down, square off those hips. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Reverse half moon. One more breath in here. Exhale, bend the right knee, step the left foot back. Inhale, arms open to a T. Look past your right arm if you can. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, right arm goes behind you. Inhale, left arm goes over your head, lean back. Exhale, tap that knee down once. Inhale to start. Exhale, go to the back of your mat. Hook that left, right elbow outside the left knee. Twist open to the left as you take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, look down at your foot. Inhale, push off of your back heel. Try to balance in this pose. One more deep inhale. Exhale, bring that leg back down. Come into that twist. Put the back heel down. Windmill, right arm goes up to the sky. Exhale into a warrior two. Inhale to straighten that left leg. Exhale, hinge forward. Bring that left hand down to your mat. Inhale, peel that right arm up towards the sky. Reach through those fingertips. Exhale, plant that right hand down, put it off your back heel. Bend into the left knee. Inhale, arms over your head, lightning bolt pose. Exhale, swing those arms back behind you. Then inhale, to peel that chest up, send the gaze towards the sky. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Inhale, take flight. Exhale, find your balance. Inhale, one more breath in. Exhale, bring those hands down to the mat. Inhale, right leg goes into the sky. Exhale, step your right foot back, then your left. Okay. Lower down, try to run them. Inhale to your plank. Exhale to your side, plank on the left. Inhale, right arm up to the sky. One more breath in. Exhale, plant that right hand down. One yoga push up. Go to the top of the plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg into the sky. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, come to the front of your mat. Bend the left hand down. Inhale, stack those hips. Extend that right leg behind you. Peel that right arm up towards the sky. Half moon. One more breath in here. Deep inhale. Exhale, plant the right hand down, square off those hips. Inhale, left arm goes into the sky. Remember your breath, deep inhale here. Exhale, bend the left knee, step the right foot back. Open up to the left, arms are to a T. One more breath in, extend through that right heel. Exhale, left arm goes behind you. Inhale, right arm over your head, lean back. Exhale, tap that knee down once. Inhale to star pose. Exhale, make your way to the front of your mat. Hook that left elbow outside the right knee. Inhale to twist open to the right. Exhale, look down at your right foot. Inhale, push off of your left heel. Balance in that twist. One more breath in. Exhale, bring that left foot back down. Okay, inhale to twist one more time. Open to the right. Okay, exhale, plant that left heel down. Bring with the left arm up to the sky, shake a deep breath in. Exhale to warrior two. Pull that right left hip back behind you. Okay, inhale to straighten that right leg. Exhale, hinge forward, bring that right hand down. Peel the left arm up, nice deep breath in through your nose, open up that chest. Exhale, left hand comes down, pivot off your back heel. Bend into your right knee. Inhale, arms go over your head, extend through those fingertips. Exhale, swing those arms back behind you. 
Inhale, peel that chest up so they gaze towards the sky. Exhale, hands come to your heart. Inhale, take flight, push off that back heel. One more breath in here. Exhale, bring those hands down to the mat. Inhale, standing splits, left leg high into the sky. Exhale, bend that right knee, step the left foot back. Then the right foot, come to the top of your plank. Lower down to forearm plank. A nice deep breath in here to prepare. Zip those thighs together, engage your core. Push away from the mat through your forearms so you don't sink into your shoulders. We're going to stay here for 15 breaths. Okay? Deep inhales, focus on your breath. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Focus on yourself. Go deep within yourself. Tell yourself that you can do this, okay? It's only 13 more breaths. Focus on the positive. I know it's hard right now, but the more you push yourself, the more reward you're going to get. Okay, you only have nine more. We're doing this together. We're finishing strong. Deep, expansive inhales. Let's go together. Don't give up yet. Don't come onto those knees. Finish strong. Stay with us. Four more. Let's go. Come on. I believe in you. Let's go. You guys almost there. Two more. Come on. Last deep breath in. Let's go. All together. Deep inhale. Exhale. Lower down onto your mat. Let your head come down. Relax that body. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, sigh out your mouth. Awesome job, guys. Take another breath here. All right, go ahead and bring those hands underneath your shoulders. Gently press yourself up to Sphinx Pose. Okay. Relax your glutes. Okay, try not to sink into your shoulders here, okay? And in that gaze, in between your hands, probably, to keep your neck in line with your spine. Making sure that you're both of your pelvic bones, or both sides of your pelvic bones are resting down to your mouth. The more you release those glutes, the deeper the stretch you're going to feel in your lower back. If you feel like you go a little bit deeper into this, Go ahead and straighten those arms. Come into seal pose if you'd like, okay? Now spend those fingers, or those hands a little bit farther out in front of you. Straighten those arms, lean back. You still want those pelvic bones on the mat, okay? Try not to lift them up. Try not to engage those glutes. You should consciously think about it. One more breath in here. All right, as you exhale, bring those hands closer underneath your shoulders. Push yourself up to tabletop just to come into child's pose. Splay those knees. Send your feet back onto your heels. Let your forehead melt down onto your mat. Extending those arms out in front of you. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Full, complete exhale through your nose. Again, nice deep breath in here. Full complete exhale. Go ahead and bring those hands underneath your shoulders. 
gently press yourself up to tabletop pose, okay? So we're not going to do a full pigeon, we're actually going to just do something a little bit more gentler today, okay? So what I want you to do, we're going to come into um, like deer pose. So you're going to bring your right leg up front like you like you would in, in um, pigeon, okay? So you want your shin to be parallel to the short end of your mat, all right? You're going to sit down onto your right heel or onto your right seat, but then your left leg is going to just bend. So you, um, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but your left leg is parallel to the long end of your mat, okay? And then your right shin is parallel to the short end of your mat, if that makes any sense, okay? That's perfect. Awesome, all right? So go ahead and take a nice deep breath in through your nose, lengthen through your spine, okay? Exhale, walk your hands out in front of you, lean forward, and just melt over your right shin, okay? And then once you're here, I want you to nice deep breath in through your nose. Send that breath into your outer hip. Okay, stretch it out. And then as you exhale, I want you to just melt down and release any of the muscles that are engaged right now. Soften into this pose for three more full breaths. All right, bring those hands underneath your shoulders, gently press yourself up to a nice tall spine. We're going to switch sides, so just go ahead and swing that left leg around to the front of your mat, bring that shin parallel to the short end of your mat, then bend that right leg, okay, and let that right leg be parallel to the long edge of your mat, perfect, okay? Make sure you're rooting down through both sit bones, all right, try not to hike up on that right hip, okay? All right, deep breath in to lengthen that spine. Okay, as you exhale, start to walk your hands out in front of you and just melt over your left shin. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Breathing into your upper back, okay? Really expand your lungs in the back area. Low, concise exhale through your nose. Now take a nice deep breath in and send that breath right into your hip. Then lengthen the right teeth in, open up that area around the hip joint. Take three more deep breaths here, okay? Try to soften those shoulders as well. As you exhale, you're releasing those engaged muscles to help open up a little bit more. And bring those hands underneath your shoulders, gently press yourself up to a nice tall spine. Okay? Let's go ahead and swing those legs around to the front of your mat, straighten those legs out, okay? Inhale those arms up to the sky, reach through your fingertips, okay? Nice, long torso. Keep your feet flexed. As you exhale, I want you to hinge forward at your hips, okay? Either bring your hands around to the back of your feet and push your thumbs into your big toes, or you could even hook your peace fingers around your big toes, okay? Inhale, thumb halfway up, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, bend at the elbows, pull your body closer towards the bottom of your feet first, okay? Get that length in your lower back and create that space in between each one of your vertebrae, okay? Then, when you can't go any farther, you let your head hang heavy down towards your legs, okay? Nice lengthening in our hamstrings, nice opening up of our lower back. Deep, expansive inhale. I want you to breathe into your back, okay? Feel the expansion, feel those muscles, those intercostals massaging your rib bones, okay? Feel as you expand your lungs as your rib bones go back and hug those intercostals. Deep 
deeper you breathe, the more energy you send into your body. The deeper you breathe, the more space you create for yourself within your body. The deeper you breathe, the more oxygen you get to your internal organs. The deeper you breathe, the more relaxed you become. Expand your breath. One more deep inhale here. Awesome. Go ahead and come halfway up the leg in your spine. Release that spine. Okay. Exhale. Come all the way up. Nice tall seat. Okay. Bring those hands behind your back. Maybe bring your both your feet together. Splay your legs out for Baddha Pranasana. Okay. Let your head drop back in between your shoulders. Okay, open up those hips, let them relax and open up, okay? But push into your sit bones. Okay, deep breath in to open up that chest. Push your pelvis forward so you get that gentle curvature in your spine. Okay. Deep breath in through your nose. Do a complete exhale. Expansive inhales into the front of your lungs and the sides of your lungs. One more full breath here. On your next inhale, bring your head back up to center, okay? Walk your hands closer towards your body to bring yourself up to a nice tall spine, all right? Grab the blade sides of your feet with your hands. Deep breath in through your nose, okay? Lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, bend or hinge at your waist, okay? Come forward. Keep that neck in line with your spine so don't round down, okay? Push those elbows into your legs. Open up those hips. Deep breath in through your nose, lengthen a little bit more through the crown of your head, try to create that space in between your vertebrae. And then exhale, hinge a little bit farther forward. Awesome, inhale, come up to a nice tall spine, okay? Extend that left leg out in front of you and bring the sole of your foot down onto your mat, all right? Right hand goes behind your body, inhale that left arm up to the sky, Exhale, hook that elbow, twist open to the right. Keep that spine nice and tall, okay, as you twist open to the right. Inhale to lengthen that spine, grow a little bit taller. Exhale, gently open up a little bit more as you can without causing any pain. One more full breath in here. Complete exhale. Inhale, come back around to the front of your mat. Exhale, switch sides. So straighten that right leg. Inhale, left foot or left knee in towards your chest. Bring that left hand behind you. Inhale, the right arm up to the sky. Reach through those fingertips. Exhale, hook that elbow and twist open to your left. Remember, whenever you breathe in, you're lengthening your spine, okay? Pull yourself up a little bit taller towards the sky. And then as you exhale, gently twist open a little bit more. Try to scoop out your low belly so you can get a little bit deeper into that twist. One more full breath in here. Right, inhale, come back up through the center. Exhale, 
bring the soles of your feet together for Supta Baddha Konasana B, okay? So we're gonna bring the, our hands around the blades of our feet. Inhale to lengthen that spine. As you exhale, bring those arms out in front of your legs and round that spine with your head in heavy down toward your toes. Nice deep breath in for the entire chain of your spine here, okay? Feel the expansion, that gentle rising of your spine up towards the sky. The expansion of your lungs, see, like visualizing your back expanding. And as you exhale, your ribs are just hugging back towards your lungs. Remember the head is hanging heavy down towards your toes. One more full breath in here. Slowly come all the way up on your inhale. Extend those legs out in front of you. Okay. Bring those arms up over your head. Reach through those fingertips. Go tall through the crown of your head. Exhale, bring those hands back down to your sides. Okay. Inhale, grow a little bit taller, lengthen through that torso, lift your torso up out of your sit bones. Keep that length in your spine as you exhale, bring your hands back down to your sides. Okay. One more time, we're going to lift and lengthen, so bring those arms over your head, grow a little bit taller in your spine. Keep that length. As you exhale, those arms come parallel to the floor below, and then you slowly come down, keeping your core engaged, one vertebrae at a time, until your head is the last thing that makes its way down. Then you know how it goes. Arms go over your head. Nice full body stretch. Point those toes. Reach through those fingertips. And then on your next exhale, I want you to go ahead and bring those knees into your chest. Give them a nice big hug. Okay, rock side to side, massage that tailbone. Open up that low back one more time. And bring the soles of the feet up towards the sky. Grab the blade sides of your feet with your hands and bring those knees towards your underarms for happy baby. Okay, feel free to either stay here at center or rock side to side and get that nice massage on the entire length of your spine. Come back to the center. Release your bind, but extend your feet up towards the sky, straightening those legs. Let your arms come down to the sides to a T. Okay. Now I want you to relax your thigh bones back into your hip joints right now, okay? Let them just melt back down. We did a lot of lengthening today. Now we're just going to let ourselves relax here. Engage that calming response within our body, slowing down our nervous system, redirecting the blood flow. And if your knees start to bend a little bit, that means you are just relaxing into this pose and that is amazing to so just let yourself relax, calm yourself down. You do whatever you need to do. To keep yourself happy. Keep yourself comfortable. One more breath in here. As you exhale, bend those knees and bring the soles of our feet down into the mat, okay? Then splay those knees and let the soles of your feet kiss. 
right? This is what we're going to do for Shavasana. We're going to be in Supta right? Arms can be either at your sides, palms facing up, or you can also bring one hand over your belly, one hand over your heart. Okay. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Eyes are closed. As you exhale, I want you to sigh it out your mouth. And take rest, my friends. some movement back into your physical body. Bringing your fingers and your toes. Turning your head from side to side. Bring the soles of your feet down onto your mat and your knees kiss together, facing the sky. And go ahead and extend those legs out. Bring those arms over your head. Nice full body stretch. Then one final time, hug those knees into your chest. Wrap those arms around your shins. Pull into your body. Walk side to side. Massage that tailbone. And then when you are ready, rolling onto your right side, using your arm as a pillow to gently blanket your head. Staying here for a few more breaths. Collect your thoughts. When you are ready, gently pressing yourself up to a nice comfortable seat at the front of your mat. Eyes remaining closed, hands at your heart center. Thanking yourself for taking the time out of your day to come onto your mat. To nourish your body, your mind, and your soul one breath and one asana at a time. Having gratitude for all that you are and all that you have in this life. And anything you can and will become. By believing in yourself and knowing that you can do anything you put your mind to. As long as you have control over your breath. One more time together. Deep inhale through your nose. Slowly sigh out your mouth. And just 
so much for letting me guide you through your practice this morning. May the light and the honor of the light in each and every one of you. Namaste, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hopefully you're feeling more energized and you can take that energy with you throughout the rest.